Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little bit different than normal. This time I got a little story to tell for this video about my first experience shopping at a Goodwill Bins outlet. And before I get into it, I want to show you what I found at the Good Bins outlet, which is only one thing. I was there for about an hour. I got there as soon as the doors opened, but I'll talk more about that later. First, let me show you what I got for $1.50, all right? For $1.50, I was able to come away with this nice sweater right here, which actually turns out to be the North Face sweater, I was blown away when I found this. All right, I was so happy to have it. It's a uh, 2XL, amazing condition. I mean, like new, I don't see anything about it that would suggest otherwise. Everything looks uh, good to me, great condition. I don't see anything, any flaws, any scratches, nothing like that. So that was an amazing find. And these actually right here, this particular one goes for between 35 and 40. And the fact that I only spent two dollars, I mean a uh, dollar fifty for it, for something that goes for thirty-five and forty, I think that to me is an amazing find. So I can't wait to list this and see what happens there. So as far as the story goes, before I get into it, I do want to say that I've been to this Goodwill Bins outlet twice before, but each time I've been there, all right. The first time I went there, I was in there. I want to say about five minutes. I dug around a little bit. I, Cause I'm not used to it, you know. I've seen videos about it, but I'm just not really used to it. You know, the idea of going there and just digging through stuff. So the first time, I had just, you know, I walked in, I dug around, and I left. All right. Second time I went there, I was in there even less than three minutes, cause I wanted. You know, I told myself I will check one more time. I was there for about three minutes, and I see people just going crazy, throwing stuff all over the place. Said, okay, this ain't for me. Walked out. And then yesterday, I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna try one last time, just to see, just to see how it goes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get there as soon as the doors open so it's a little less chaotic and maybe you know I'll find something. So I go there bright and early. I get there about 10 minutes before the doors open. And when I get there, there's already I wanna say I think there was I think I counted 16 people total. And about half of them were there doing the same thing I was doing. The other half were just getting stuff for themselves that they want to buy for themselves. The other half was doing, doing what I was doing. You could clearly tell they were there to resell. Because, you know, as soon as the doors open, you know, I see them with their phones on the eBay app, Poshmark app, Amazon app, just doing whatever they can to compare prices. But here's the thing. Here's what blew my mind. Here's what made me just think, like, wow. That I, I don't think I was mentally prepared for. As soon as the doors open, it was like, okay, I've never been to a Black Friday, but this is the closest to a Black Friday experience I think I'll ever get to. Because as soon as those doors open, all 18 of us, all right, I'm walking in calmly once the door is open. I'm walking as calm as can be. The people at the front, the one doing what I'm doing, when I say they were running, okay, when they were sprinting, all right, not not speed walking, not jogging, no, no, sprinting as soon as that door opened to the back of the bins or where the closed bins are, because all the glass and toys and stuff are at the front, closed away in the back. Sprinted, all right, like it was the Olympics. The employees, the goodwill at the door had to yell it out. You know, no running, stop running. We're not gonna tell you again, stop running. And I'm like, wow, are you serious right now? Now my rookie mistake, I thought to myself, hey, I'm gonna, because at the Goodwill Bins out there, I'm not sure if you guys know or not, most of you might know, they uh, price everything by the pound. So you could technically get like a pound of shirts for like two bucks or three bucks, however much, you know, if you can, how much how much your shirts weigh? You know, if you're lucky, if you can find some lightweight shirts that go for a lot, great, you know? So I understand why people go there a lot to get you know great deals, save a lot of money, and sell for profit, whatever. But my mistake is I'm I was thinking I'm gonna find a bunch of good stuff. I bet I'm gonna find a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna need a card to help me out. So there were about four people in front of me getting a card, and they were taking their sweet time getting the card, pulling it out. The next guy grabbing a card, pulling it out slowly. You can tell those people were not there to do what I was doing. They were just slowly taking the time, and I'm losing time. You know. I'm losing clock because I can see in the corner of my eye the people who are running to the back. I see the shirts in the air. I'm not being dramatic. Those shirts were in the air, catching, getting some hang time in the air. We're digging through. So by the time I got finally got to my car and got to the back, all those guys, all nine of them, each had at least five or six shirts thrown across their shoulder. And I'm thinking, wow. Now I didn't get to see what they got because I was so focused on you know on getting stuff myself. But I can only imagine what each of those guys, each having like eight or five shirts on their shoulder, each of them. So I can imagine what kind of stuff they got. So anyways, when I get there, all right, my first time going to the clothes bin. I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm trying to find anything. I'm finding a lot of trash, a lot of garbage, like nothing valuable, nothing, nothing, nothing. And it's at this moment I'm realizing how chaotic that place is. 
I can't speak for all Goodwill bins. I've seen a, a lot of videos about them. Some are calm, relaxed, and some are a bit hectic. This was definitely a hectic Goodwill bin. All right, there, it's, I don't understand, and this actually brings into my uh, the sweater store right here, that I was digging through some clothes and the, one of the guys in front of me is throwing stuff up and down. Like, I don't understand how you can see what you're buying if you're going like this, you know, you're not, because for me, I'm grabbing even clothes, look at the tag, grab the clothes, look at the tag, grab the clothes, look at the tag, see what it is. These people are just like throwing stuff up in the air. So that actually played into my part because when this guy in front of me was, as he was doing this, this right here, this sweater, the North Face, was one of the things that kind of got flipped, you know, in my direction. And when it did, all I saw, because there was so much stuff on top of it, all I saw was that. Part of this is face, right? That's all I saw. And I saw that and I thought to myself, is that what I think it is? And I pulled it out and I saw it say the North Face. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I picked it up, you know, inspected it, make sure there's nothing nothing wrong with it, no holes. The the the, the touch uh, was amazing, like it was practically new. And I would just, I immediately just, just held on to it. Or I'm sorry, I threw it in my cart actually, which I would never do again, but I'll get to that later. And that just goes, you know, that proves my point. Like, I'm sure if he would have saw this, he would not have just thrown it to the side but how can you know if you're just going through stuff just throwing stuff in the air like not even paying attention to what you're doing so that just you know proves my point like that's why i would never do that because he practically just in a way he kind of just gave it to me if you think about it by throwing it so that to me i don't understand how now to be fair like i said they each did have including him like five shirts on so i guess in a way it works maybe it, it works for them but in this instance not so much that one worked more in my favor but um, anyways, so as they were doing that, all right, there's like five rows of bins on each side, and I'm just seeing, you know, in the, in the corner of my eyes, I'm just seeing clothes going up in the air, and it's just a madhouse. Now, I did not, my, besides that, I did not find anything else in there that was worth getting anyways. Found a couple of meh things, but not really worth it. So as that's happening, okay, I saw two things. Number one, the craziness, the throwing around, digging around. And the second thing I saw was to my right, there was two ladies side by side, all right? And I guess at the same time, they must have both grabbed the same leggings, all right? And the lady on the right, who was closest to me, or I'm sorry, uh, the lady on the left, who was close to me, to my right, as hard as you can, as aggressively as you can, with her right hand, yanked that thing out of the other lady's hand and almost, almost hit me in the face with it when it swung around. And the lady to the right, who, who got it snatched out of her hand, was saying, hey, calm down, relax, it's not that serious. And the lady next to me was speaking in the language, I don't know, but she was like feisty with her, you know? While still you were saying, all right, calm down, listen, it's not calm down, it's not that serious, relax, relax. And I'm seeing this going like, oh, wow, that that was, it, it. she's right, it's not that serious. You don't have to uh, snatch something out of someone else's hand. I get it, I get it, it's a awkward, uncomfortable feeling if you both grab onto something, you both kind of look at it, and you realize you both want it. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of awkward, like, hey, who's gonna give it up first? Maybe, I mean, I don't know what I would do. Honestly, because, you know, I'm, I'm not used to the bins in general, but if, if I grab, like, for example, if I had grabbed this and some guy next to me grabbed the two, like, like one arm each like that, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm sure there might be, a, like, a little bit of tugging, like, awkwardness, but I don't know how I would honestly act in that scenario. I do know one thing, all right? Number one, I would not feel the need to rip it out of his hand. And if he did it to me, if he ripped it out of my hand, I'd probably be a bit annoyed. I'm not going to throw punches over that. But I definitely might do what the lady, uh, the first lady did by telling him, hey, relax, but it's not that serious, calm down. But still, seeing that ugly side of people is just like not okay for me. I was just like, wow, this is a madhouse. And another rule that I learned, I guess, is that when they bring out new bins, you know, you can't touch, the, you, you can't go inside the new bins until they're all lined up. We just need, we just, it's kind of like, I, I really don't want to compare it to them, but I, because I'm not trying to call these people that, but it's the only thing I can think of. Have you seen those videos when people at the farms feed their pigs, how they just line up? All right, that's how it felt, all right? They bring out these, you know, these five employees, each bringing out these big, huge uh, bins, all right, lining them up in front of each other, and all the people on, on each side of the bins just lining up, watching the bins get in front of them like it's feeding time, all right? And I thought to myself, okay, well, I'm going to just do the same thing. So I lined up, which I get it. Once the employees put it there and walk away, it's, it's, you know, every man for himself, you know, go find what you can't get. But at the same time, it's like, it looks like they're fighting for food, like survival. 
the fact that you see these bins coming out and you like once those swinging doors swing open and you see the employees with those those, those blue bins pushing them they whatever they're doing whatever they're looking at they see that and they run to go line up to be first in line once that bin stops moving to go digging and, and i thought to myself wow they really got you guys trained well don't they and it's like, like the fact that you just stand there it's, it's like a dog being given food and the dog cannot eat the food until the owner says eat that's another way of looking at it for me it's like they all wanted to grab the clothes but they couldn't they, they had to wait until every bin was put in place and they got the go ahead and i thought to myself like wow they got you guys really trained like that <laughs> you guys just sit there and wait and that's when it gets even crazier when you got like i want to say at least like 11 people on each side of the bins lined up like shoulder to shoulder waiting for the go ahead and then once the, the employees say go ahead and they just jump in the, the amount of clothes that goes flying in the air is ridiculous it looks like it just i just can't describe i can't think of the words and i just wish i wish that i had recorded inside all right i okay so i know i can't record it with, with one hand at the bins right if it was a more calm relaxed space sure i could do it take my time but in that scenario with everything flying everything there's no way i'd be able to check and be on my phone at the same time in that instance i would love to have like a gopro or like a little camera or something to record so i could use both hands and be free like that but that to me was an experience guys so i just wanted to share that that my first experience actually shopping at the google like i said my first two times there doesn't count i didn't i didn't really look i was in there for like five minutes or less both times that that doesn't count so now I know the next time I go, which I definitely will be going again. But now I know that next time I go, all right, number one, no cart. I don't need the cart. Now, I'm not going to do what they did. I'm not going to throw the clothes over my shoulder. That I don't know if that clothes is clean or not. It's not worth it. I'm just going to bring like a little uh, disposable bag. Not disposable bag, like a Publix bag or a cost, some kind of, you guys know what I'm talking about, like a grocery bag. Not, not the plastic one, but like the woven one. I had one here to show too. I, I don't know where it went. But anyways, I'm bringing one of those. Those I don't mind. The cart takes too long. It's too much in the way. You got to drag it around. The over the shoulders is just not sanitary. So the bag seems safer. Throw the clothes in there and focus on your clothes in. So guys, that to me was an experience. So that's going to wrap this up. Let me know, guys. Have you guys been to the bins before? How was your experience? Was it similar or the complete opposite? Uh, I'll try my best. The next time I go to the bins, I'm going to try my best to try and record in there so you guys can see what I'm, uh, see what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, like I said, as crazy as it was and chaotic as it was, coming away with this, all right, for a dollar fifty, and it sells for almost forty dollars. Well, knowing me, I'm probably gonna list it like thirty just to make sure it sells like that, right? So, walking in there and coming out with this for two dollars to me is amazing. So, anyways, guys, let's wrap this up. And I do have another haul video coming out later, most likely tomorrow. Uh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.